straight edge. Okay, one sixteenth ruler uh, yardstick or meter stick, and slip it in the groove here on the power rack. This is a groove where the frame slips in, and that groove needs to line up all the way down through both racks, nice and straight. of rocks make sure that line is straight and then the panel snaps right in uh, with these jinko panels they have like a little lip here and it literally goes snap when it goes in so that's you know, it literally goes snap when it goes in so that's how you put those in and once they're in on this side then you take this plastic clip and you slip it in, lift it up, and pull it down. When you pull it down, it's got hooks that grab the inside of the panel, and then you put this T-plug in to lock it in place so it can't come out. So for that panel to lift off of there, it would have to rip the frame off. So these can, with um, 500 pounds of rocks in each bucket, it's about 1,000 pounds, 900 to 1,000 pounds for each panel. Luckily, Hurricane Ivan is only going to be a tropical storm. Eh, a low pressure zone and some rain for Saturday. But that's it. Now, I installed my one miles inverters under here. These are HM350NT. And uh, you can see it under here. I need to get Jinko plugs, connectors, to mate with the MC4s, um, you can do it, they work, but per code, in order to, and to be honest, the number one cause of fires is mismated connectors. So we're gonna get the right connectors and make some jumpers, the jumper from an MC4 to the Jinko pan, uh, panel kit connectors. Jinko makes their own connectors, but Jinko's the only one who uses them. And same over here. Did the same thing. Everything's all set up. I took the connector from the one miles inverter and I tucked it up in there under the rocks. You know, in with the rocks. So the cables are nice and nice and neat looking. I shoved some of this cable up inside of here. So now I just have the extension cord hanging here. And I'm gonna put like a little hook here to hang it so it's not on the ground when it's wet. level so it took a lot more work I mean it took me to panel it up took a day but leveling the ground took you know for me doing it alone took took a week and then with rain and everything it actually took like three weeks that was easy that took two days so bam done so I have this extension cord here it's a junction box and uh, it's just Lago clips connected to the Line one, line two, and ground. You can see under here, all of these panels are grounded by a ground wire. And uh, that ground wire goes to all 10 panels. But on the new one, the Hoy Miles inverters have the ground wire installed in the cable. And I use serrated head flange nuts and bolts to mount the inverter so I have a good ground connection between the frame of the panel and the inverter. So that inverter cable covers the grounding for me. It's just gonna put the ground. It's grounded. Right. These are my pair of panels until you keep track. 
these two inverters um you serrated head flanged slip serrated flanged head hardware these might be a little too short but we'll try right, so i already took the serial numbers put them on my rack in the house okay under here there should be a screw we can use or a hole we can use for the screw your fingers don't stand on your wrench I make that flush so it's not sticking out This one I haven't tested yet. This is a new inverter. That one is the one I've been testing. I've got to torque up till it bites into the metal on both sides. All right, we're grounded. When do you think looks better? You tell me. This one is very solid. These just survived the tail of Hurricane Ian. Got them in in time and they made it, no problem. fast the wind was blowing here but the cord didn't even fall off so no trees got blown down my jumper cable uh, Jinko connectors to make my jumper cables will be here by Wednesday and then we can pop on there Hey, good morning. It's Todd, NC Solar Electric, and uh, I'm out here. I've got my Jinko connectors. It's these uh, these ones here. Uh, my panels are Jinko panels, but the inverters have MC4 connectors. So these jumpers have an MC4 on one end and a Jinko on the other. And uh, so they're going to jump her between the microinverter and the panel. Let's take a look. And there's my microinverter. These are MC4. These things here are MC4 caps. So they plug in here to cap your connectors so that you don't get any dirt in them. So I can take those off now. And this is the MC4 end. And this is the MC4 end. Yeah, those are the Jinkos. This is 
MC4 amp. Get you in there. Yeah, now that is supposed to mate nice, nice and clean. Okay, I gotta get under there and unclip those tie wraps. And I didn't bring a cutter, so we'll come back to that. Snapped. You hear that snap? It's got a snap. Everything snapped in. And again, I gotta go get a cutter. Always make sure these always make sure the caps are tight. You don't want any loose connections. I'll get some tie wraps on there. And we're done. That's literally it. Just waiting for the permit to be approved so I can call for inspection. Now have a great day. Point out is that your tie wraps have to be UL listed in the United States and they have to be rated for UV. These are, it doesn't actually say it on the package, but they are. And um, so keep that in mind. These plastic white ones, nylon, are not allowed on solar systems. So I got to remove those and put these on. That's NC Solar Electric at the Solar Power DIY Help Desk YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you need any parts, designs, engineering support, tech support, just give me a call toll free 877 58 Solar. All right, it's Todd. Have a great day.